it's as though the earth is a very unhealthy person. What we're doing is how do we cure that person rather than how do we stop the person becoming unhealthy in the first place? In other words, we're just reacting to a bad situation and it, it's too late. I, I can't see any future. I'm sorry for people with children. I'm sorry for people with grandchildren. But I, I think it's too late. I think, I think the good years have been probably from the end of the Second World War uh, into the 60s. Standard of living for most people in this country has gone up and up and up. We've got to where we are now and I can't see things getting better. I can only see things getting worse. We can talk about how we help our neighbours and coming together, but the problem we've got now is that somebody at the other side of the world did something some months ago. It affected their neighbours, it affected their families, it affected the people in the city, it affected the country, China, it got passed all over the world, and we're trying to sort out now uh, how in the future, or we should be thinking about pandemics in the future. This one is not too bad. It could have been uh, Ebola, where the fatalities are about 70 or 80 percent. So looking at it that way, um, this pandemic is, although it's killing thousands and hundreds of thousands, we, we can uh, see an end in sight and maybe there'll be a million or two million people die. If it had been Ebola that had got out and around the world, we could be talking about a billion people dying. And so I'm thinking not just about this pandemic, I'm thinking about the next pandemic. How do we stop the next pandemic? Not just think about getting masks in and gowns in to react to the next pandemic how do we stop it happening in the first place and people don't seem to be talking about that we're just talking about how do we act now